welcome back again so let us discuss another a very important topic today that is bentham and hooker system of classification okay so you have already studied the different types of classification like artificial natural and phylogenetic okay so now let us look at on one very important natural system of classification that is proposed by bentham and hooker okay so uh, first of all about bentham and hooker so uh, the two scientists they published the work in the book uh, the volume known as genera planta okay so the george bentham an english botanist uh, and is a well trained botanist and about uh, joseph hooker hooker is actually the director of uh, q botanical garden and he is a plant explorer also they together published the system of classification and they described about 202 families and of uh, about 97000 genera okay now so they have uh, some other publications also the flora of british india uh, a well known uh, flora uh, you can see in our library also this flora of british india then students flora of british uh, islands etc and by george bentham the uh, important book is uh, seven volume of flora australiensis and handbook of british flora okay and so in this they described this 902 families and about 97000 genera also okay and uh, according to this system of classification it's actually like this so entire seed plants phanerogams divided into classes so they into sub classes sub classes into series series into orders orders into families okay so first the phanerogams or seed bearing plants divided into three category that is dicotyledons gymnosperms and monocotyledons see dicotyledons gymnosperms and monocotyledons okay so first class is dicotyledon dicotyledony or dicotyledons you know what is the characteristic feature they have two cotyledons and they have reticulate venation they have pentamerous or tetramerous like our uh, you know for example you take the uh, hibiscus shoe flower like typical five characters likewise then uh, they include uh, three sub classes so class 1 uh, dicotyledon include three sub classes what are the sub classes see polypetale gametopetale and monoclamidae okay so first seed plants into uh, three classes that class 1 dicotyledon into three sub classes polypetale gametopetale and monoclamidae so look one by one so in this image you can see what is mean by polypetale that petal is free look at petals are free you can remove one by one here petals are united gamma petale here in monoclamidae actually no differentiated into differentiation into petals and sepals or only a single word okay so first sub class is polypetale looking into this this have free petals that is uh, flowers with a distinct calyx and a corolla then it again divide into i already told you divide into three series so class sub class then go to series what are the three series thalami flore disky flore calyci flore okay thalami flore disky flore calyci flore so all the floral parts arranged in a structure known as thalamus or receptacle okay so what is the shape of the thalamus see in the thalami flore first series you can see how it is arranged thalamus is cone shaped or dome shaped first case so over is superior so over at the top position all other parts corolla calyx andrisium arises below the ovary so ovary top position so ovary is superior and shape of the thalamus is cone or dome that is thalami flore it divided into six order and 34 family clear next second series is disky flore what about it it has disk shaped thalamus disk shaped thalamus ovary superior divided into four orders and 23 family then calyci flore what is calyci flore the thalamus is cup shaped thalamus is cup shaped here the another feature is uh, we cannot say ovary superior or inferior it is half inferior or half superior it belongs to five orders and 27 family understood so what are the three 
series coming under polypetale, thalami flore, disci flore, calici flore. What are the features? Thalami flore, thalamus is cone shaped. Okay. Disci flore, thalamus is disc shaped. Calici flore, thalamus is cup shaped. In thalami flore, ovary superior. Disci flore, ovary superior. But in calici flore, we cannot say superior or inferior position. See? Okay. Next. Second subclass is gamma petale. What about gamma petale? Petals are free. No? So, uh, partially fused or fully fused. What are the three series coming under gamma petale? Inferi, heteromere and bicarpellate. Okay. So, one by one we can look. First one is inferi. Series one, inferi coming under gamma petale. Having flower with epigynous and ovary inferior. Flowers epigynous means ovary uh, superior, sorry, inferior ovary or uh, epigynous condition. Three order and a nine family. Inferior, the term itself, ovary inferior. Heteromere, ovary superior but more than two carpels. Carpels are more than two. Three order and a twelve family. What about the series? Bicarpellate, term itself, bicarpellary, two carpels. Okay, that is uh, hypogynous and with the two carpels. It has 4 order and 24 family. So, inferior, heteromere, bicarpellate. That they are the series of the gamma petale. Okay. Now, the third subclass is monoclamidae. What are the uh, features? Single word of perianth. We cannot differentiate. It is known as tepals. Okay. Flowers are incomplete. They we can call them as tepals. And second class is gymnosperm. So, in the gymnosperm, you know, studied it. They are the uh, naked seed bearing plant. Three family, Nitaceae, Coniferae and Cycadae. Okay. Then, uh, class 3, Monocotyledon. Class 3, Monocotyledon is having uh, that uh, parallel venation, single cotyledons with the fibrous root system. Now, look up the overall picture. Class 1, Dicotyledon. Eh? Class 2, Gymnosperm. Eh? Class 3, Monocotyledon. Eh? Class 1 again dicotyledon divided into one more here uh, it is actually no, missing one point you have to write here uh, that is here you can write uh, this uh, polypetale what is here sorry polypetale. okay see polypetale. so polypetale is the Subclass 1. See, subclass 1, subclass 2 gamma petale, subclass 3 monoclamidae. Under polypetale, series thalami flore, disci flore, calici flore. Under gamma petale, inferi, heteromere, bicarpellate. Under monoclamidae, 8 series and 36 family. One example is given here, series unisexuals. Like 8 series are there. Then uh, monocotidine, 7 series also. Okay. Now, see. Uh, all exp expanded here. Thalami flore, the order you studied, there are six order. Ranale, paratales, order given. Disci flore, four order. Calici flore, five order, etc. Then gamma petale, inferi, three order. Heteromere, three order. Bicarpellate, four order. Then monoclamidae, coming back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here, uh, three plus seven, monoclamidae. So all displayed here. So you have to study. The outline of classification proposed by Bentham and Hooker. Okay. So, try to remember up to series. Okay. Now, what are the merits? So, in brief, I can say merits. There are so many merits. It is a very simple uh, for practical and easy or handy. And most of the herbaria of the world are following this system. And the system starts with the ran nails. That is considered as the most primitive. There are primitive and advanced during the time of evolution when you look upon. So, primitive is the starting one. Advanced is the what we reached now. Okay. So, all the characters are advanced one. So, ranales is primitive that is kept in the first part. Then, uh, evolution taking place through reduction. A huge number of petal sepals, they reduced, number reduced, 1, 2, 3, 4, that is advanced. Okay. Huge number is considered as primitive. So, in the, it considered this system of uh, that evolution and polypetale considered first before gamma petale. That is good one. 
and also unisexual monocot family after bisexual family that is another merit then glomaceae is an advanced member kept at the last of monocot okay then the th three series also according to the um, evolutionary advances first one thalamic flora disc flora you can see hypogyny and caliciflora epigyny epigyny is advanced one okay then two family that is apiaceae and cucurbitaceae they are uh, keep kept at the end of polypetale okay that is also an important merit then monocot chlamydia at the end of dicot another point then there are certain, there are certain families where their characters we cannot uh, predict or it is difficult to assess such group is known as disputed family they all together kept in one group known as ordains anomaly okay now demerits main demerit is it is not a phylogenetic system no evolutionary relationship discussed here okay so characters are all artificial characters related families are placed wide apart related families are not uh, nearby they are wide apart okay then group monoclamidia is entirely artificial group then keeping gymnosperm in between is also not in a logic way okay and this system not give an idea of evolutionary history no evolutionary history is uh, described in this classification and keeping astraceae astraceae is advanced family but keeping this first in the gametophyte that is a wrong one likewise orchidaceae is advanced among monocot but keeping in the first position is also not a good one then two family namely liliaceae amaryllidaceae both having some characters sharing but they are kept apart okay so likewise so many features some examples you can study while writing demerits okay so that's all for uh, bentham and hooker system of classification so this is an usual question university question for an essay describe the system of classification proposed by bentham and hooker add merits and demerits or also uh, explain that uh, an a natural system of classification you have studied okay so for this purpose you have to study the system of classification uh, all in a uh, in a I means in diagrammatic sketch as well as detailed description of each class subclass series etc don't go in detail about the families and orders no need up to series you have to study so prepare a chart a colorful chart and keep it in your study room that will be better for you to refer always because while studying family while teaching family that will help you so all of you prepare a chart of bentham and hooker system classification uh, with colorful uh, uh, i mean uh, colorful charts okay so i hope you understood well today's class enjoyed well so have a nice day thank you